Welcome to the Make It Happen with Will Polston podcast. There's the difference between, like you said, not doing it and um, not telling anybody. Then there's using business as a vehicle to be able to serve other people. And you also mentioned transcending ego. So I'm, I'm curious to um, sort of both, both those elements. I mean, do, do you still see business as a vehicle of being able to serve then because people are doing it and then there's a form of fair exchange? Um and then, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, okay, yeah. cool. Business, uh, business for me is always. When people ask why do people go in business, I mean, you know, there's a big argument. Like, there's too many people call themselves entrepreneurs when they're not really entrepreneurs. They're running businesses. Right? So, when people go into business, business is always business is a vehicle for you to have a lifestyle that you want. Right? So, if you're like, I go into business and I want to make loads of money. After a while, you realize there's only so much money you need to take care of your bills and doing all the things. The next level is lifestyle. Once you've taken care of your bills and your lifestyle, what's left to do with your money? It comes to service, right? It really is. So even in business, serving your customers and your clients is your number one goal, right? So when I took, if we talk about the word ego with it, ego is it's not all negative ego in the sense of uh, that fine line between you know like some people go like ego and significance go hand in hand sometimes someone will say oh i'm not interested in making lots of money i'm just interested in helping lots of people i've helped millions of people through my well that's still ego <laughs> to admit there's still ego there because everybody Everybody has a need to be significant, and it's just the vehicle that you use for it. You know, I, my my challenge isn't with ego. My challenge is when you when you do things from a standpoint of significance that doesn't come from a standpoint of love as well. Meaning that it's not about serving. It's it's all about me, 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 me. So yeah, that you know, the challenge when it comes to service and ego, the challenge with it, and like I said, there's a there's a fine line between it is when you're doing service for show and that's the only reason you're doing it and you've moved over like we we've always been taught in all of the wealth and all the business training over the years that for every one dollar you contribute ten dollars come back into your corporate organization you see you see companies all around the world i have uh, my own clients and the organizations that they will come to me and ask me to help them on their service and contribution their philanthropy strategy their csr strategy and most companies will set aside one percent two percent of their turnover or profit to corporate social responsibility why because they need to look good <laughs> they need to look like they care you take two companies one provides uh, double glazed windows another one provides double glazed windows but this one for every time we invest in it they're providing housing for orphans uh, i know where i'm going mm. right? because we know that it's there was this whole drive of social entrepreneurs but social entrepreneurs were never really given any benefits in in the sense of you know tax rebates it was they were you have a business or your business it was like you're not for profit or your profit that third way never really took off with the rest of the world or even within tax things so people went uh, i've just got to survive i'll go to the profit right? so these people carried on being charity and not for profit you've got business you can bring the two together you can bring the two together but it's it's a difficult thing because you've got to see what people's intentions are and the only way i know whether their intentions are pure is whether they're doing it consistently and authentically that's that's why we say i just see lots of businesses i see a lot like look at this this is what we're doing oh that campaign's finished and if imagine they go look what we're doing we're helping women and they're promoting about empowering women like even the whole black lives matters and things like this and so on that's happening right now because when there's a riot happening in london I'm one of these people that I wait till all the press and everybody's got excited. When they all leave, that's when the real people come back and do the work. Right? So that's that authenticity. People can do things because it looks good. And I actually advocate for it because that's the stealth part. You have to, you have to do good because if other people see you do it, 
But the real level is if you're doing it, and this is what you're about, do you do it consistently? That's why I, I advocate for companies like uh, someone like Morgan Stanley. They actually have a philanthropy team that head up their CSR team. And I met with every one of their philanthropy team in India, and each of them are like, this person's there because their brother um, grew up using a wheelchair. The other one there because they grew up in a slum. They all had some driving reason of why they were in that philanthropy team, not just because of their roles in the organization. So if you're starting in business, I just tell everybody straight, if you're, even if you're starting, if you're scaling up, if you can bring an element of heart into your business where you've got service and contribution, choose something that's important to you that you're passionate about that you could do consistently. Because after a while, people will see through it anyway. So, but if they're doing good just for a show, I don't care, good is good. Right? But the real people, the sustainable, the my heroes are the people that I will see that, you know, when they're doing it consistently and authentically, and it's become their lifestyle not just in their work, but in their life, and that's when they really got it. You can find the full episodes of the Make It Happen with Will Polston podcast here on YouTube, on iTunes, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms.